Hi guys, JD again. Um, in an earlier video I was talking about shooting in your back garden and trying not to hit any of the neighbors. So, and this is a quite a crowded area, so we've got neighbors on one side pretty close, one side on the other side, behind the house, well there are neighbors all over the place. So I thought it, you know, especially because we are sort of just beginning, um, it would be a good idea to make sure that uh, we don't, uh, well, we keep the arrows within the garden, which is um, also a legal uh, thing. So you can shoot arrows in your garden here in the Netherlands, as long as you keep the arrows within the boundaries of your own garden. Okay. So then I was looking into backdrops, um, arrow stops, uh, whatever. And I came across this uh, green curtain that you can see hanging there. I'll zoom in a little bit later. Um, and they apparently are very effective in um, stopping arrows. So uh, I'm going to uh, give a little demonstration. And for that I will use the um, very nice looking and shooting Anubis, which I talked about before, but it was a little bit dark showing the bow, so now it's a little bit lighter, so maybe you can see a little bit better. Anyway, this is the Anubis, and um, oh yeah, the arrows that I will be shooting. Let me see what I got. The Pentalon Hunter Extreme. All right, Pentalon Hunter Extreme. Nice carbon arrows with a pretty aggressive point to it. So I am very curious to see, because I really haven't tried yet, whether um, this curtain is going to stop this arrow. Okay. I'll take a, a shot from here and then I'll uh, take another shot zooming in a little bit so you can see the effect on the curtain. You have to really hang it like a curtain because it has to have the possibility to move with the arrow so it can absorb the impact and the power of the arrow. So it's really hanging like a curtain. Uh, it's about three meters up high and three meters in width. doesn't look three meters in width because it's hanging like a curtain so it's about I don't know maybe two and a half but this should do the trick. I mean if I'm aiming at that target um, I should there should be enough curtain behind it should I miss it. Okay let's give it a try. Mm, mm, there we go. Okay. So it fully absorbed the impact. The arrow didn't even get into the curtain. It didn't, didn't even get stuck. Let me just um, zoom in a little bit and do that again. So we can see. Okay, yeah, let's shoot. Try to hit the curtain a little bit on the right of that uh, tree thing. There we go. Right of the tree thing. Whoa! And that is not good because it went right through. Did you hear the noise? That is really bad. Okay. Okay, let's try that again, a little bit lower, because I'm almost shooting over the, um, the fence now, because I thought it would definitely catch the arrow. This is not good. Wow. Let's do that again. Put a little bit lower. That's good again. Gee. Wow. OK. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm really surprised. I am really surprised. I don't need sunglasses anymore. I am. Re I mean, I know the um, uh, Anubis is a quick bow, and those are pretty aggressive arrows. But that net should catch any arrow from any bow. And, in, and this is not a 50 or 60 pound bow. This is just a 40 pound bow. I mean, it's not the lightest, but it's definitely not the heaviest. So, um, interesting. I'm going to have a talk with the people that um, supplied this curtain to me and see what they have to say and I'll be back. <laughs>